what that is. It might be a half dime. I don't think that's what that is. Oh yeah, it's a seated. I got something big around in this hole. Right there. Let's see what it is. Oh, no doubt. It's a cut real. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. I can't believe it. Oh, that's the third piece out here today. All right, that's awesome. I'm gonna keep going. All right, guys, um, we're back at it today. Alfu and I out here at this uh, this old uh, site. It's near a battlefield, and there's some colonial activity. All right, guys, in this hole right here, it's a big old chunk of iron, but it's a big spike. Look at that. A railroad spike. It's bent. All right, in that hole right there is a. Uh, Head stamp for a paper shotgun shell. And I can't read it right now, but it's old. It's paper, so got some age to it. All right, guys, down on the soil. I think I saw a big old bullet down in the bottom. And uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, about six inches. It's down here somewhere. I just glimpsed it. Oh, yep, big three ringer. Oh, well, wait a minute. Yeah, it's fired too. You can see the uh, rifling on it. Look at that. All right, that's cool. That's awesome. All right, guys, I think I have another bullet down in this hole. Right here. Oh, yeah. That's a three ringer there. That's me. Like yep, three ringer. It's got that brown patina with the white underneath it. It's fired too. You can see the rifling on it. All right, guys, down in this hole. Wasn't sure what it was at first, so I've already pulled it out. And it was entombed in crust, but it's a pistol bullet. Civil War. Look at that. Haha, <laughs> look at that crust on there. Yep, that's definitely what that is. Alright, hold on a second. Get some of this crust over here. Oh yeah. There we go, look at that. <laughs> Alright, turning out to be a bullet kind of day. All right, guys, down in that hole. I got the day is set on 18 kilohertz, so I'm getting some really small stuff, too, in addition to the bullets, but this is a little tiny piece. I don't know. If that's modern or old, it looks like one of those little pull chain ends, but it's hard to tell. All right. It's not ringing up gold, so it might be aluminum. And I'll clean it up, show you at the roundup if it's anything. All right, guys, we're down in the uh, area where we were finding uh, some colonial stuff. In this area, I don't. there's some electrical interference in here that's rough on detectors, but anyway, I got something in this hole. And it's right here. I think it's a piece of a bullet or something. It's pretty old. Yeah, it's just a piece of a bullet. Looks like it's cut or something. Huh interesting it's like it was cut purposely right there might have been a pistol bullet at one time all right that's a good find all right guys right down in this hole i think it's another pistol bullet oh yeah that's exactly what that is the white patina on that all right that's awesome all right guys down in that hole oh four or five inches Looks like something brass. See it right there? I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, something with brass rivets in it. Definitely old. Alright, I like that. Good find. See the rivets in there? Alright, right there at the base of this tree. It's like a bucking ball, a buckshot. New club. 12 gauge shotgun shell, paper cartridge anyway. The guy's got a, uh, he got two bullets in a row, looks like, over there. I hear him yelling. <laughs> All right, I'll show you this stuff later. All right, guys, in this hole, it's a 50, but it might be some kind of button. Nope, it's a little grommet. Oh, huh. interesting. I don't know what it is. Let's see if there's anything else down in there. Alright guys, right there in that hole. 
Looks interesting. I'm not sure what it is. It's got rust on it, but it's also got a uh, little finial on it or something. Alright, I'll clean it up a little bit with a toothbrush. See if I can tell, but you can see the rust ball on the bottom of it. Alright. It's very interesting. Not sure what it is. Unless it was the end of a knife. A dagger or something, I don't know. Alright guys, right down in that hole. Popped right up. It's a brass piece off of a uh, padlock. And the padlock was probably down in there and it's probably uh, disintegrated. But um, I'll uh, clean up, see if there's a marking on there. Hopefully it says U.S. or something on there. All right, we'll see. All right, that's it a little cleaned up. I wet it a little bit, but um, it says patent on it. You can see the ENT. But I'll clean it up more at home, show you at the roundup. Oh, guys, man, I came in the woods right at the edge of the property where the gate starts, and then the property starts this way. And man, I thought it was a can signal. But it's not, man. Look at this hole. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at that. It's a plate. It's a U.S. plate. It's a little bent up. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. Oh, can you believe that, man? Oh. <laughs> That's my first plate. That is freaking awesome. All right, that plate was over there and right here in this hole. It's a, uh, a uh, musket ball or pistol ball, something like that. Alright, that's period. It's got the white patina on there. Alright guys, in that hole, another uh, pistol bullet. Alright. Keep going. Found that plate earlier. That was awesome find. Alright guys, that's a wrap for today. Bunch of bullets. I got a lot of lead. Civil War period. And got that uh, US plate. So that makes for an awesome day. So, uh, I will see you at the roundup. All right, here's what I got for the day. Three ringer, a flattened three ringer. That's pretty cool right there. Another one. This one's really chewed up. The evil one. Some pistol bullets, pieces of lead, a little. Looks like a 22 flattened pistol ball or something. Huh? And he did get a flat button. This one looks like it's got an eye on it. I don't know. I'm sure we'll see it on his video when he cleans it up. Alright, hold on for my wrap-up. Alright guys, this was an awesome hunt. Um, this is the first part of the wrap-up. This is just the uh, junk and I went through it just to make sure there was not anything too good in here. But I did find a big giant railroad spike. You know, when they uh, did logging they would put in temporary railroads to... Uh, haul out some of the woods when they take it out uh, to the creeks and stuff and dump it in the creeks. It could be what that's from. That's the only spike I found out there. I wasn't digging a lot of iron today. But anyway, um, nothing real notable here. I didn't find anything that I didn't already pull out. I just got some brass pieces. Some of the stuff is owls too. He, he threw it in there in the trash bucket. It was a big old steak. Modern. It's got the plastic on top of it. Did get a bunch of shotgun shell paper cartridges the head stamps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 12 of them. I know some people collect that stuff, um, but I hold on to them. It's brass and uh, four modern ones and several little pieces of lead, 22 bullets. And I'll show you the good stuff in just a minute. All right, guys, here are the better finds. We'll start off with the more modern stuff and work our way up to some of the older stuff. At least some of it, I think, is uh, more modern. Um, this was pretty interesting. And it turns out just to be, it looks like a little piece of aluminum. It's gold in color. Oop, I lost it. Here it is. But anyway, it's like a little pull chain piece for, you know, a light or a fan. A couple of uh, smashed 22 bullets, a little small 22 bullet. It's a little bit bigger pistol bullet, but I'm not sure if that's a Civil War error or not. It may be. There's no patina on it. It's not quite as big as the other pistol bullets. This is a piece of uh, buckshot, maybe bucking ball. Again, that doesn't have the patina on it, so it's got a little bit on there, I guess. Probably is a bucking ball then, especially considering the site we were in. The uh, definitely a Civil War site and Colonial site in that area. So got this little grommet here. It's got these little teeth on the back of it. I don't know how old that is. I mean, that could be period two for all I know. 
I just don't know. Could be a poncho grommet. Something like that. Then got this piece of brass here. She's got two rivets in it. And it was, uh, those rivets held two pieces of metal together. I don't know if you can see them or not. Here, this is a better shot here. You can see those two pieces of brass riveted together. No idea what that would have been used for. Now this is uh, off of a cast iron padlock. And the padlock was long gone. But this uh, brass cover, keyhole cover, is still there. And it says patent on it. It's just hard to see. Matter of fact, most of it's worn off except for the very end. And then up here, they got some pistol bullet bullets. These are definitely period. This one's got grooves on it. This one's got grooves on it here. This one's got some grooves on it. These are all about the same size. The patina on that one. That's pretty cool. This one doesn't have any uh, grooves around the end, but it does have rifling on it. You can see running down the side. So that's pretty neat. Pretty neat bullet there. I like that one. This one too. Get something on the top. It's got a groove down on the bottom. These three might be the same type of bullets. And this one's a little bit different. Then a couple of uh, either pistol ball or a um, musket ball. I found bigger musket balls before, so I'm not sure about that one. Then this is a little uh, piece of buckshot or a uh, bucking ball. And this is pretty cool here. Cause see the patina on there? So that's old, but this is a cut bullet. Somebody cut that thing just like that on both sides. Then we got this piece right here. I don't know what this is either. It's the end off of something that had a uh, rusted iron on it. Most of it was gone and it chipped away as I was cleaning it up out in the field and then got it in. But that looks old. It's the end of something. I sure wish I knew what that was. And then, got this uh, two groove confederate gardener, gardener bullet. Look at that, it's pretty neat. Got shaped on the bottom. That's a confederate gardener bullet. And got this mini ball. Patina came out great on that. It's got some of that brown on the back of it. You can see the three grooves here. One, two, three. Base is in good shape. Yeah, it looks dropped, but it's not. You can see the uh, where the rifling made the mark on there as it was shot out of the gun. So, and then you can see the casting lines on it. And then, the best find of the day. Got this right here. <laughs> this is awesome. This is a uh, US box plate for a cartridge box. So, not sure how far to go on cleaning this thing up. I did, um, this was pretty easy to bend back in shape right here, so I felt comfortable doing that. I did scratch it a little bit, like right there the shovel I guess. Man this gave a signal like a big old giant tin can it wasn't very deep in the ground so that is pretty awesome and you can see the back of it still lead filled and this is how you can tell if it's a uh, this is just what I learned from researching it today but you can tell how if it's a box plate or a belt a box plate has these a little loop like that on it one here and then one down here and a uh, belt buckle would have had dog ears on it and a little um, hook here to hook into the leather. So that's how you can tell the difference in the two. So that's an awesome find. It's a great spot, great hunt. Um, I have to thank Al Fu. It's his permission. Um, he obtained it and he lets me go out there and hunt with him. And uh, we find some good stuff. We've been finding some good stuff out there. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, we'll see you at the next one.